going to say I've got some doozies. You know I've got good, weird, good, weird stuff. Good, weird, fun stuff. Also, um, I'm going to do my best to talk a lot. <laughs> However, I did get some kind of a bug and my throat has just been, it was like super raw yesterday and terrible. My daughter is way sicker than me, but she's had it. She doesn't have a fever. It's just kind of like post nasal drip and a sore throat. Ew, gross. Um, but we've both been dealing with throat issues. I've been gargling with iodine. That's apparently a thing and it's helped a lot. Drinking tea, a tea that um, Miss Elise is really judging me for because it's the Yorkshire tea, the, what is it called? It's called the um, Malty Biscuits. <laughs> So it tastes, it's like a hint of like a shortbread cookie or something. It's, it's very, it's very light. Um, I'm enjoying it. I texted her and told her it's my new favorite tea and she's judging me harshly. Anyway, so I've been drinking lots of tea and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna try, talk the best I can, but I think we're probably gonna do about three or four of these. I, I know I drew eight boxes here, but um, I just wanted, I figured I'm probably gonna do more doodles here eventually. Um, this will probably most likely be for Art Hang Party tonight, which, cause it's Thursday night when I'm, or Thursday afternoon when I'm filming this. So I'm probably just gonna do four. If you've never done one of these with me before, I think this is like the third one I've done on here, third or fourth. And basically I find some weird stuff on the internet, uh, mostly Pinterest, sometimes eBay. Um, sometimes Instagram, and I just, I find weird, wacky, wild stuff, and we draw them. We draw, we draw the things I find. So we're just gonna get into it. First up, uh, let me tell you, you're, <laughs> if you like tasty treats, mmm. Oh, she's, she's a fine tasty treat. And today I'm gonna use, guys, if, if you saw my video, um, the most recent video I made was how I started a sketchbook. And I was talking about how I was sort of on the fence about how I felt about Neo Color 2s. Um, these are all new Neo Colors. I bought like 11, I think 11 Neo Colors. So I ended up spending $25 at the art supply store <laughs> on fancy crayons. I can't, I, I can't believe I've turned into this person. I'm, I'm mad about it and also not that upset. Um, I, I fell in love with them. I fell in love with them and I'm kind of pissed off that I like them this much, but damn it, they're, <laughs> they're, I really like them. <laughs> I just, I wasn't really getting the hang of them before and now, I'm like, well, I like these things. They're, they grew on me. Um, I, I really started to fall in love with them um, during the Master Studies Art Hang Party pop-up, which was on a Saturday. It was the very beginning of the month. Uh, it'd be the first Saturday of the month, I think is when Melissa does them. And it was, it was then that I was like, these have a quality about them. And I think I, I, I think I love you. I just, I'm like, I don't want to fall in love with expensive crayons. Damn it. Hmm. I do, I do. I like them. I like them. I'm, I'm a convert. I'm just like all the rest of the art hang party people that seem to love these, I would always be like, ooh, I'm using Neo Color 2s. I'm using Neo Color 2s too. And everyone was like using Neo Color 2s. And I was like, should I get some? And I was like, no, no. Don't buy them just because everyone else has them. 
and then I did. Then, I, you know, actually I held off for probably a year. They've been sitting in a wish list on my Amazon for like a year. I'm not kidding. Because I don't just willy-nilly buy art supplies. I usually, um, I'm gonna save her face for last. Um, I usually, can you even see? I should, probably, I should probably zoom in. Let me zoom in. A little more, little more, little more. I just watched a Seinfeld episode where Elaine had a head that was, her head was too big and she was in the back of the cab and the cab driver was like, lady, could you please scoot down? I can't see past your head, your head is too big. And then she scoots down and he keeps saying like, little more. Little more. He's looking like at the rear mirror and he's like, little more. Little more. Little more. <laughs> and she's like, like this. Thank you. So that's what, that's my obscure reference, my obscure Seinfeld reference for this video. I'm constantly thinking about Seinfeld. It's just, it's my life, okay? Uh, that and SpongeBob. We do a lot of SpongeBob and Seinfeld references here. What the heck was I saying about, what was I talking about? If only I could rewind this and see. Rewind this moment, because I could do it with my camera. Um, I was talking about, Save her face for last. Uh, that I was buying fancy crayons. Shoot. I don't remember. I don't I don't fully remember what the heck I was saying, but <laughs> just dust in the wind now. Oh yeah, it's dust in the wind. But I I yeah, I like what? Okay, her eyes, I just, I mean like, just a slit line. Okay, cause she's just an eyelid apparently. Oh boy, I'm really giving her justice here. Um, yeah, one of the Neo colors I got, there was only one of these um, salmon rose left and it was like one of the colors I really, really wanted when I would look online. Yeah, I, I was I was I was window shopping for these for a long time. Um, yeah, this was one of the colors I wanted, and all they had was this broken one. Not like I wouldn't break it eventually, but I was really like, Ugh. so then I asked the guy working there, I'm like, do you have any of these like in the back? And he's like, Well, let me look. So he looks around. There were none. And then he's like, well, I can give this to you for a discount. And I was like, well, you know what? I already, I, we dropped this one when I was in the store. It fell through like the little basket you carry around and it just snapped immediately. So I just put a bunch of washi tape around it. And I was like, well, I'm already, I already broke one. So I'm buying a broken one. And, but he was nice. He gave me a, l a little discount, knocked like a dollar off. So it ended up being like a dollar 50 instead of, dollars and fifty cents so you know I was like I'll take it <laughs> all right I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're done with that let's move on to the next one what do you think I all I can imagine is that this little doggo this little pretty puppy princess was um, was on like why? I don't know why I'm thinking of this show in particular, but the Sally Jesse Raphael show. I'm pretty sure this dog is being interviewed by Sally Jesse Raphael. Shout out to everybody who knows who Sally Jesse Raphael is. Red rimmed glasses, blonde hair, a red lip, shoulder pads, power suit, you know, microphone. Why am I doing <laughs> why I keep going. What else can I tell you about? She had an audience, a live audience, live studio audience. Um, but I feel like, or, or this dog is like the way it's looking, looks like a dog that's like contemplating, like, contemplating an answer for an interview and like they're being interviewed by Oprah or something. I, I don't know the story behind this photo, but that's half the fun is not knowing it's just everything is out of context. Um, one of you recently went down 
the, I guess, Google rabbit hole for a couple of the images that were like, that I was trying to figure out what the heck happened in these images. And you came up with answers. And I was very impressed. I, and you know what? I, I could have I could have gone and Googled some stuff. Trust me, if I'm curious enough, I do. Um, but you went and found answers for like a lot of the images. <laughs> and you were like, okay, this character comes from this show. Um, you thought it was this show, but it's actually this show. And um, I was just, I was so tickled by the fact that, that you took the time to look those up. You know who you are. And for some reason, I can't think of your screen name at this very moment, so, um, yeah. Wait, was it a Aya Blue? I want to say there was a color. I, don't, I want to say the color blue was in the name. Um, I just, I, I just thought it was really cute that you went and looked these up and you were like, like this is a Japanese character from this show. It was like the, the it was that um, abominable snowman looking thing that I thought really looked like it was like a Jim Henson Muppets character. And I barely watched Fraggle Rock. Like I don't remember very much watching Fraggle Rock. I don't know if I was like kind of outgrowing the whole like watching Muppets thing, but truly, I've never outgrown watching Muppets. I love the Muppets. I live for the Muppets. Um, if I ever met Kermit the Frog in person, I would cry like a baby because <laughs> met him in person. He's a puppet. He's a puppet, um, but still, I would cry like a baby because I just, I have such like emotional attachment and just such sentimental feelings about him probably because I watched uh, Muppets with my grandma so it'd be a big deal but anyway so I watched that more than I did um, Fraggle Rock I don't really remember watching Fraggle Rock so I, it's like such vague fuzzy memories when it comes to that um, look at this turtleneck you've got a jacket I mean this is a dog that showed up dressed for an interview, a professional televised interview, televised in front of a live studio audience. Thank you very much. Um, do we have, ooh, ooh. This uh, is just plain old blue. Ultramarine blue will be, will be perfect. Perfect that you have like very slopey shoulders because you're a dog and you don't have shoulders like a um, powerful corporate woman <laughs> from the 90s. You know, you're just, you're just like, I'm a dog and I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look like a human so you take me more seriously. Um, I didn't draw the hand in there, let's just, there's a hand just coming in like, what? Almost like bad dog, bad dog. You tried to fool me and make you think that you're a human. You, bad dog, you borrowed my power suit for a TV interview. Also, I watched the episode. Also, was it the same episode of Seinfeld where Kramer, <laughs> Kramer has a cough like a dog, smuckers. <laughs> And he doesn't trust going to doctors. So he instead goes to a vet because he comes across a dog in the park that's coughing. It's a nasty cough you got there. What cough? <coughs> and every time I've seen that episode, that's like my favorite part is just looking at the dog going, <laughs> It has like a, a person voiceover coughing. That's what the dog says. And every time the dog goes, I borrowed. <laughs> it's so stupid and so silly, sure and it just cracks me up so, so much. Hey, sorry for the jump scare. <laughs> but I did say uh, on my last video that I would have a little announcement to make, and I do. Um, also, Ralph's here. Say hi, Ralph. After a year of taking a break on Patreon, I have reopened it. And 
I wanted to introduce to you the Weirdo Drawing Club. <laughs> I'm laughing because can you see Ralph's ear? <laughs> like he's... <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here helping me, Ralph. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be serious now. I'm serious. I'm serious. I opened my re I reopened my Patreon again. Okay, so there's uh, three different levels. So basically, there is the free membership, which is anyone and everyone can come, and there's nothing more affordable than zero dollars. Uh, basically, being free, I'm gonna. I'm gonna read on the screen because I don't remember everything off the top of my head. Um, you're going to be a member of the Moral Support Squad because I think that's just more fun than calling it free member. You're gonna get things like um, just regular life and art updates, like blog post kind of stuff, a free 30 minute preview of the very first episode of the Weirdo Drawing Club, and I'm gonna tell you about that in just a second, um, and access to the Draw Weird Things secret Pinterest board. I had posted, side note, I had posted a link to that secret board so that you guys could collaborate with me. Um, I don't know what happened, but some creep, I guess, decided to post something upsetting on there and I got a warning email from Pinterest if it happened again that they would be like closing my account. So um, I decided let's put it over on Patreon. I think people that are going over there usually have good hearts. So I'm sorry to have to do that. It's, it's not a ploy to get people over to Patreon. It's just that I felt like that was a safer spot. Then I also have a $2 tip jar member which you get early access to YouTube videos. That means that you'll watch it without the ads. You will have access to all of my previous Patreon videos from 2022 through 2023 and access to the Draw Weird Things With Me inspo Pinterest sport, secret inspo Pinterest sport also, 15% off promo code to anything on my website a the preview to the weirdo art club episode one art life updates and my gratitude and if you would like to be a member of the weirdo drawing club which is what i'm really excited about um you will get an exclusive monthly video the weirdo drawing club and that's going to be you know the the same kind of thing as draw weird things with me it's just bigger, bad, or longer. There'll be another Pinterest board, Weirdo Drawing Club Pinterest board. That one is the one that we're gonna be pulling images from for those Weirdo Drawing Club videos. Um, you'll be able to chat in the community post. You're gonna get a 20% off coupon to my website, early access to YouTube videos, the complete access to everything, all the Patreon archives, and uh, the art updates, Oh, and also one thing I don't have on here is I've got, um, there's, well, I do have printables actually already on there that you'd have access to, but I have another printable that I'm going to be making for everyone if you're a free member or paid. And here's the thing. I want to be very clear that Draw Weird Things With Me is still going to be a free thing on YouTube that is not going anywhere. I just know that I... I know it's not for everyone, so I didn't want to flood my channel with only that content. So if you like it and you want more of it, I'm going to have more there. So I'll still have Draw Weird Things with me on YouTube, probably like once a month or every five or six weeks, but every month I will have a Weirdo Drawing Club video. And you have access, everybody and anybody has access to the first 30 minutes of the first episode of the Weirdo Drawing Club. I've got it linked below. You just have to go there. If you're a free member, you can watch it and you can draw along and you can totally show me what you drew if you want to tag me on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, whether you decide to join as a free member, as a paid member, I so appreciate the moral support I appreciate the monetary support if you're able to do so. I know that that's a lot for some people. Trust me, I get it. Um, so that was the announcement and thanks for listening. <laughs>
that took all my energy. I'm <laughs> just like, <sighs> okay. So thank you for listening and thank you for considering going over there, whether you wanna go as a free member and give me moral support, which I so appreciate. Or if you wanna sign up as a paid member, that means so, so much, it really does. So let's get back to the video. Thanks for listening. I Thank you. Thank you for listening. I, I appreciate it. Let's move on to this, this um, uh, sunny, sun-worshipping crocodile or alligator? I think it's a crocodile. I think it's a crocodile. Maybe it's an alligator. I don't know, but... Um, I don't know if this is someone's pet, if this is real, um, but um, I'm glad that the crocodile is protecting its eyes, even though I believe crocodile's eyes are like over here, you know, the sunglasses are here. It's kind of like um, uh, Arthur, an old PBS cartoon where um, the Arthur the aardvark, you know, his little ears are up here. Doesn't look like an actual aardvark at all, um, but when he wears headphones, they're down like on the side of his head, like on his cheeks, it's, you know? Um, so <laughs> same idea, same idea. Um, okay, I'm making a lot of sense today. What should I do? Should I draw the car? Okay, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to kind of put the car in here. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a watch on because then I could kind of keep track of time but we're doing what we're doing it's it's it happens how it happens not that I want to time this it's more uh, because I will have to leave in a little while and I want to time this out okay um, I feel intimidated by drawing <laughs> I've never drawn one of these before let's see let's see how it goes um, uh, hold on. I should have brought my Ricola cough cough drop. <laughs> Ricola cough drops in here. Look at his little nails. Gotta gotta get those in. Um, they've been pretty nice and helpful. Ricola. Do they still advertise with those, with that song? Uh, okay, so the sunglasses are here. I'm doing this like really lightly because I'm like, I'm trying to get the perspective right because this is important art and I want to do it right. We're just going to go for it because otherwise we're going to be here all day. I'm going to say his eye is back here. And the sunglasses are just, you know, they're up here. So, you know, it's cool. It's like pay no attention to where the sunglasses are at. It's none of y'all business. None your business. Right spot of sun right here. Well, you can't really put white on there, but you can put a pasta, which will do absolutely nothing because these are water soluble, which means, <laughs> which means I forgot about that part. And now you have it all over your pasta pen. All right, well, that's, that's what you get for trying to add a reflection on top. Um, I think he's going to be sticking out of the frame here, which is just fine. Uh, gosh, they have really big mouths, don't they? Very fat necks there, sticking out of that t-shirt. Get that in. 
this has been a tough, this is a tough one. For me at least. The rest of you are just, are doing just fine. Or not doing it at all. Which is totally okay. Because you don't have to. I'm the one who's here doing it on purpose. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna, Uh, I was gonna do the towel and all that, but you know what? Let's just, whatever. Let's just, let's just, let's just get this there. And, you know, there's ocean in the background. There's a sky. You can see a steering wheel over here. I mean, I, I, oh yeah, he's got his other hand over here. And the bottom is like this color. I say good enough. I say good enough. Good enough. All right. Couldn't just, nah, you know what? That's not exciting enough. <laughs> now her. <laughs> yes, queen, okay. <laughs> um, are you seeing what I'm saying? I cannot figure out if her, if her eyes are like, can you see her eye? Let me zoom it. Yes, you can see an eye. The other eye is totally covered by her hair, but she's she's like, I'm ready for a night out on the town, and I've used every can of Aquanet hairspray within a 25 mile radius. So, pop a flower in your hair, wear your little fur stole, let's go dancing, let's go drinking. I wouldn't recommend smoking because you're probably very flammable at this point. Oh my gosh, this is not enough space. I don't think to do it justice, but we're gonna we're gonna accept that challenge. And we're gonna, this is almost like the perfect color too. That was one of the reasons I had to get some, get me some more Neo Color 2s because I just wanted some more of the colors because the set I got of 15 it's just kind of very basic colors. And how many times can I say colors? So I just really, really wanted some more. Once once I got bit by the Neo Color Bug, I had to keep going. Gosh, I, how much does this thing weigh? Is it just Photoshop? It, I don't think it's Photoshopped actually because there's I know you can Photoshop in a, a, you know, a shadow, but I think that's a legit shadow. I think this is an actual wig. I'm sure it's for a costume, but I, that has to be one heavy hairdo. I mean, that's bigger than anything I've ever seen Trixie Mattel even wear. This is huge, huge, big, 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 big hair. And it's just, what a shape. What a cartoon character shape. She looks like a SpongeBob character. Uh, don't I have another gray? Yes, but it's dark, so that won't really work. Hmm. I'm gonna throw a little blue in here. You know, a little blue silver. I think that works. We got a real whoopie doo. All right, I've spent a long time on that. We're gonna make her body super tiny, okay? We're just, we're really gonna exaggerate it. So she's got her in there, her handbag here, and her fur. Her 
little short shorts. Outfit, gotta say, I would have totally worn this back in my day. <laughs> back in my day of um, going out to clubs in the 90s, 100% shorts with um, tights under un underwords, underwords. I don't think that's, I don't think that's a real term. Um, underneath. You know, like that was just, that was a look. I think it's kind of been coming back, but totally. I wore that in high school a lot, like shorts with tights underneath. Like solid tights, not 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 like sheer pantyhose tights. But yeah, it, it is a look. And then she's got this like little sweetheart neckline. And um, I think she has a choker on. Cause it looks all light here, but. Hmm. Like this. I'm gonna put a choker on her, but I'll just make it black. So I don't think you'll see the white too much. <laughs> Especially when you have it mixed with other colors. Um, she has a pink choker on now, accidentally. I'm gonna give her the flower. Mm -hmm. And she has a real like smoky silvery eye. Put those eyelashes on little bitty nose and she has like a frosted pink lip how are we going to show that we're gonna have to this is the best we're gonna do um I'm gonna leave it at that I think that works um <laughs> I like how she's just so much tinier Oh, my throat, my throat, my throat. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Thank you so much for being here and drawing weird things with me, or at least watching me draw weird things. Um, I had a good time, I hope you did too. And I will see you on the next one, or I will see you on my Patreon. And remember, you can do a free membership. You also have access to the Pinterest board. So head on over there for that reason alone so that you can contribute to it and we can maybe draw some of the things that you pick out and put on there. Um, yeah, so this was a good time. <clears throat> Ow, my throat, my throat. My throat is getting a little bit feels like it's a little bit on fire now just because I've been talking so much because um, I've tried to rest my voice a lot. Hopefully I will see people, some of you guys on the art art hang party tonight in the chat. Um, yeah, because that's always fun and we're supposed to be, and it's supposed to be, um, Melissa picked the profiles as a theme, which I think is going to be a good, good thing to work on. Um, yeah, I will see you very soon. Thank you for being here. Okay, bye.